Hey, what's good? It's Cadillac Tracks. Hey, this is video number one. I uh, got a request from a YouTuber. This video is just about how to use machine in Fruity Loops. He said that uh, he was having problems. It was a little difficult running machine through Fruity Loops. Um, I gotta admit, it is a little bit because on the real, you want to stick to Fruity Loops, but then you want to bring machine in, and the machine's got its own little sequence. So. This is the way that I do it. This is the way that I bring them together. There's a lot of ways to do it, but uh, this right here is my template. It's a custom template. And uh, what it is, what you see is machine. This is the new version, 2.65, I think. And uh, you got your drum kits, instruments, effects. This is the way I lay it out. Uh, when you open up your machine, you probably won't see it like this. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to delete these real quick. Uh, just delete these little when you open a machine it's going to be empty and this is going to be one channel right here group x and now the way i link it up is of course fruity loops has its own mixer this is a fruity loop mixer so what i do is i try to put every sound and machine on a channel in fruity loops so one through 16 you got 16 pads so we need 16 channels for the machine and then whatever else we might be doing um, first thing that we're going to do is we go to machine and we're going to set up and route machine to go into these channels um, I have it set up right now to have my kicks on channel 2 and then on channel 3 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14 this is the rest of my pads and the way I've done that is all my kicks I place on channel 2 and then we have 4 snares, 4 hi-hats and 4 percussion sounds so 4 by 4 or 16 and uh, the first thing that we do is we link it up all you have to do is click on the toolbar knob first thing you do is open machine click on the toolbar knob uh, matter of fact it's not the toolbar knob it's this knob right here next to it you're gonna click on this processing and this is right here telling you how to route or where you're gonna route into Fruity Loops uh, you're gonna go ahead and you can um, you can auto map it it'll auto map it and it'll link them 1 through 16 automatically or you can like I did you can click and select one on one of the channels that'll make it start auto mapping from that channel so I selected one on this and then I clicked auto map and went ahead and selected auto map starting from this channel because I didn't want it to start at the very very first channel because I like to put my 808 there so you can sequence it to go to any channel you want so you set up your mixer once you got a link like this you set up your mixer uh, all your sounds and all your pads from machine are going to link right into Fruity Loops I'm going to show you I'm going to bring back machine up I'm going to open up one of my uh, drum kits right here. It's just a custom drum kit that I made. If you want a custom drum kit, you just let me know. And I'll be sure to shoot you one. Now this is LAC kit number 28. And uh, as you can see, it's got 16 sounds. And, uh, right now these sounds aren't linked into Fruity Loops even though we've done that change it's a good thing I'm going to show you first thing that you're going to do is once again you know we've linked the sounds right here under processing so it's linked up to this but it's not coming through and the reason it's not coming through is because we have to link it on machine machine right here in the mixer wants to know what group or what output to send the audio to so all you do is you click right here on the mixer tab and you're just going to link it up so I like to put my kicks on group 3 I have a channel for kicks usually in the beat I only have one kick going so I just have a channel for kick and then I have snare I've, I've noticed that I use more than one snare so I link each snare to its individual channel 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and so forth until we get all the way to the end and this right here is a hi-hat sound this is another hi-hat sound uh, followed by a third hi-hat sound and then we have a we should have an open hi-hat we just want to make sure that we're going in order three 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 four five six seven eight nine ten eleven Uh, I might have 
messed up here, but I'm pretty sure that's how I do it right there. So once you've linked it like that, as you can see, every time I hit a kick, it's coming through on my kick channel that I designated. I designated this channel, channel three, and it's coming through channel three. If you notice that the number is one off, then uh, just do the math. We got all our machine sounds coming into Fruit Loops. That way we don't have to sequence it in machine and try to drag it to Fruit Loops, even though that's an option. Uh, to do that, all you got to do is if you have MIDI notes that you've recorded, you'll see a function that'll pop up and become available right here. It'll be two icons, one for MIDI and one for audio. You just put your MIDI notes in. And uh, once you have your MIDI notes in, you can see right here, you have your MIDI drag option where I could take a MIDI note. And then this is a channel in Fruit Loops. I could take a MIDI note and I could drag it to a channel. And it would post up on that channel inside Fruit Loops just like that. So this is audio. We can do the same thing with the audio. A uh, nice thing is that if we had a MIDI pattern that we had recorded, we can record it as audio right into Fruit Loops right away, just like we've done with this right here. So uh, let's say we have this right here. It's a, I don't know what it is, a little perk sound. I could actually drag this right here. And um, what I do is I hold down the drag button. The machine will make you do that, and you'll let go. And there you go. You have an audio file inside of you know Fruity Loops now. Try that one. I'll try that one more time. Let's see. Usually we'll drop it on a playlist. Uh, usually I'll drop it on a playlist. And uh, there you go. So it's just a little couple tricks right there and ways that you can use machine route it to Fruity Loops. Um, once it's in Fruity Loops, you have a lot of options because you have, of course, all your effects that you might be able to throw on there, or you know the good old. A parametric EQ where you can actually see the EQ and uh, stuff like that I'm gonna keep doing videos like this this will be number one sorry so long I'm gonna try to get them down it's shorter if you like this subscribe to my channel let me know what you want to hear next also I'm gonna be posting free drum kits uh, they're already linked to channels in Fruity Loops if you want this template in Fruity Loops just let me know leave a comment on the video I'll be sure to shoot this template to you. It's just a custom template I set up, minus the effect chain. And uh, that's it, man. Y'all have a good one. Cadillac Tracks.